Greetings everyone, my name is Jonathan Bailey and I'm from the website Plagiarism Today, which can be found at plagiarismtoday.com. Happy Monday, August 13th, everyone. Coincidentally, my birthday. I only say that because after I record this video, I'm probably ducking out for a while. Don't expect a lot of work from me today. I'll cover the essentials on PT. I've already got something written for it. And I'll be doing some client work this afternoon, but I'm definitely not going to be in my usual um, scrambling around mode. But I did want to take a few minutes today and talk about the big news on Friday, in which Google announced that it will be factoring in copyright infringement notices in its search engine algorithms. Now, to explain what's going on, under, under the DMCA, Google is obligated, after receiving a DMCA notice, to remove allegedly infringing URLs from its index to stop linking to them. Okay, that's the law. Now, according to some major copyright holders, the problem with this is that they can sit there and they can take little URLs out of the index all day, but that Google still gives priority to sites that have a lot of copyright infringing material, which means when it pops back up, the new version just simply starts ranking very well and they're forced to go back and start the process all over again extremely annoying and according to Google not always providing the best search results well what Google's going to be doing is saying that sites that receive a very large number of copyright notices are going to see a penalty where they're going to be knocked down in the search engine the search engine results rather and possibly um, even eliminated for certain search terms. Now, it's important to note that this penalty does not go all the way to removing the domain from Google. So basically, the site will still be there, and someone with their Google foo on can still easily find the content. But for competitive keywords, these sites are not going to rank very well. So, for example, if you look up The Dark Knight Rises, you're not, hopefully, theoretically, you're not going to see a lot of BitTorrent links and infringing links there for it. And that's really the big idea behind this, is to favor um, legitimate content whenever dealing with more um, neutral searches, neutral and more, new, more competitive searches. So you can still use your site search, you can still use certain keywords which are targeted to finding pirated content. It's not like these sites are going to disappear, it's just they're not going to appear in more neutral um, terms. Now that being said, there's still a lot of fear that a, this could be used more arbitrarily, that it could be used to penalize sites which are legitimate or maybe primarily legitimate but have some copyright infringement content, like some forums, and it could have a negative impact there. There's also a concern among many that it could be abused, meaning that if you just want to you know, harm your competitor, file a bunch of false DMCA takedown notices and have them bump down in the rankings. And finally, there's a lot of uh, crying foul here saying that YouTube is getting special treatment and that YouTube will not be receiving this penalty and it definitely will not be. Um, as far as how it's going to be applied, the first issue, we'll have to wait and see. We're going to have to see how fairly this is applied, which sites are impacted, and how strongly they are impacted. Google has a very good transparency report in which you can see what sites have the most DMCA notices, who's filing them. Um, and all the all that good information you can use that to get probably a good handle on the sites that are top on the list for this penalty um, so that's a good place to start there as far as the abuse issue I think that's been overplayed a little bit in some of the media the reason is this only applies for valid copyright notices and well obviously Google can't determine what is and is not valid if you do receive a false DMCA takedown notice with Google you can file a counter notice my my plea to everyone here is if you're worried about this sign up for Google Webmaster Tools get notified when DMCA notices are filed against you so you can respond if you're seriously worried about that happening get involved and start being aware of what's happening and start fighting back if that's a serious concern I don't think it's gonna be widespreadly that widely abused though and the reason is not for not for negative SEO purposes at least I should be clear about that there are other abuses of it that I think are, are bigger concerns but for negative SEO there are better ways to impact the site via negative SEO that don't involve such strong legal risk because filing a false DMCA takedown, a knowingly false DMCA takedown notice produces a lot of legal, legal risk here. Uh, just ask uh, D. Bold about that one. Um, and uh, the final issue about YouTube uh, not getting bumped, the reason that's going to happen is that this new penalty is only looking at search DMCAs and technically it's more or less impossible to file a search DMCA against YouTube because you're always directed when you try to file against a YouTube link you're directed to filing one on YouTube's DMCA system 
and YouTube is the only site that gets that benefit. I mean, your forum, for example, say your forum admin, like my good friend Patrick O'Keefe, you could have a robust DMCA process, but there's no way you can force someone with a DMCA issue to go through you. They can choose to go through Google on their own. And that's where I think the real unfairness is coming from here is that YouTube is the only site of its kind with widespread copyright infringing material that has the ability to force people to use their DMCA service versus Google's. And that's going to be, I think, a, something that's going to stick in the craw of some people moving forward. And I can understand the frustration there. So it's not necessarily that YouTube is going to be getting special treatment with the penalty. If the penalty could be applied to YouTube, I'm sure it would. But it's not going to be. It's, it's, it's more or less impossible to actually send a search DMCA to YouTube. And realistically, why would you anyways? Um, so that's really the crux of what's going on. I'm going to have a lot more to say on this. Uh, stay tuned to plagiarism today. It's going to be. I got one article going up today, another one going up tomorrow, and other stuff about this. I've got a lot more to say about this, but my six to seven minutes here are up, so I'm going to cut just end it here. And on that note, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm sure with more on this or whatever else is big in copyright news. But until then, I'll see you next time.